Hi everyone, my name is Swamil Shah and in this video I'm gonna be teaching you how to add multiple Verilog files to your project. So let's say you are making a full adder and that's a 4-bit full adder, alright. And you need to uh, add, so what I'm gonna teach you here is I'm gonna make 1-bit full adder and I'm gonna add, in, uh, I'm gonna instantiate a lot of files of full adder. So let, without wasting much of time, let's get started with the code itself. So first of all, I'm going to the code that's on desktop. 4 bit ALU, I believe test adder 4. This should be the one. So please be patient while the software is loading, it takes time, it's a heavy software, so please be patient. <coughs> Alright, so here you can see that's a very log file. So now what most of the people do, a common mistake that is, see here I have my one bit full ladder, here you can see this is the code. So do not write the two modules in one, 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 I mean one Verilog file. Make separate Verilog files to add it. So just to give, a, give you a quick demonstration, I'm gonna again open the quarter software. All right, so I'm gonna create a new project. So I'm going from right from scratch how to make a project. So let's select the directory of the project. Let's say desktop. I'll make a folder here. Alright, go to the folder, select the folder, name the project. Yeah, the most important thing here is if you give the name as 4 underscore adder, it will give you error. So always the name should be first and then followed by the number. So make sure you do that. After that, just hit the finish button and you're good to go. So after you're done with this part, so open the quarters, select new file, Verilog HDL. Now I simply copy this code which I wrote, I paste it here. Make sure the name is same, that is adder underscore 4 and here it is adder underscore 4 underscore test. So this will give me error. So make sure the name of the file is same. Now it's perfect. Save the file, the name should be same, adder underscore 4 save the file now i want to add another verilog file to it how do i do that is i go to the new new verilog and i paste my one bit verilog code oops i'm sorry so copy so here i paste it so the name here is adder underscore one underscore bit so make sure adder underscore one underscore bit dot v save the file save this file also and just hit the compile button now i'm pausing the video because it's gonna take time so let's wait for the code to compile all right so how can you know whether your file has been added or not so go to assignments go to settings and right there uh, you you can see see here if you observe on the file section there are two files very log adder underscore four and adder underscore one four bit if the file is not added you can you can select the file name and click on add button so the file will be added successfully all right so we have compiled the code successfully and now go to tools go to rtl simulation so that we can compile our code so wait for the software to be loaded it is loading so please be patient it's a heavy software so it takes time so yeah model sim is opening right now so this is how you can design 4-bit adder, 8-bit adder, 32-bit adder or 64-bit adders. So just design a 1-bit adder, cascade it and that's it. That's how you do it. Alright, so after the software has been loaded, on the on the left hand side you can see work, expand it. So here you can see both the files are added successfully, adder 1 and adder 4 here at the window. So I have to go to adder 4 and not adder 1. I'm just simulate it. So here you get the parameters, all right? Simply drag the parameters on the right hand side, select the parameters. For an example, I wanna select A, just wait. And at the down, it will give you a message such that 
this has been added successfully zero warning zero errors after simulating so just drag and drop so here you see the the output of the my project so a is 1100 b is 1010 and the output is 0110 with carry hard mm -hmm. so here is a simple example how you can uh, write 4 bit adder 8 bit adder 64 bit 32 bit by simply writing a 1 bit adder cascading it so if you like the videos please give me a like subscribe to me if you have any questions please list your questions in the comment section below thank you